How's it going everyone? So in this video, I will be making a pelvic floor workout. So before I get started, please subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already. I do appreciate the support, it helps my channel grow. Also, please follow me on Instagram, DylanBird999. So the exercise that we will be doing today is gonna be leg raise holds. These are very good for really hitting your pelvic floor muscles. Uh, we will do 10 second holds, we'll do 10 sets, and yeah, let's get started. So again, when you're doing leg raise holds, you don't, don't wanna be vertical and you don't wanna be too low. You kinda wanna be right here. So let's hold that position for 10 seconds. Booyah. Just like that, my friends. Just like that. Whew. Got off pretty early today, you guys. I uh, got off work at, I was home by 12.50. Crazy. Uh, Wednesday, Thursdays are, are super easy days. Tuesdays are easy, Fridays are easy, Thursdays super duper easy. So I was home at, um, again, uh, 12, for, for 12.50, and just started making videos at 1.45. Again, an hour, uh, I didn't make videos for an hour because uh, I shoveled the snow when I got home. I, uh, I, had, I went for a shower, made some food, and I texted my wife for 15 minutes before her break was over. So. Still got plenty of time. Again, my goal every day is just to hit nine videos. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday is nine videos. Friday, Saturday, Sunday is 18 videos. And yeah, um, that's the goal. And so far I've been smoking it. I've been getting the goal every single day. So when you make lots of videos, like last Sunday I made 28 videos when you make that many videos doing nine videos seems like nothing and it really isn't nine videos isn't that much when you compare it to 27 so uh, today i probably will be able to make 12 to 15 videos just because it's only like quarter after two my wife gets home in three and a half hours so I have three and a half hours to make as many videos as possible. That should put me roughly in between the 12 to 15 video mark. I'd like to hit 15. If I can hit 15 today, I would be very happy. But even if I get 13, I'd still be happy. And again, what I'm doing is I'm just scheduling all my videos. So all the extra videos that I make, they just keep scheduling so I always have videos. That's the thing, always having videos ready. And um, I don't think anyone does it as crazy as me, like scheduling that far ahead. But uh, I got a good system going and all it is now is just making videos. That's all it really is. I am getting pretty lean. I have been cutting weight, you guys, and uh, striations are coming in pretty, pretty dope, not gonna lie. Um, Weighed 185.4 in the morning, which tied my low weigh-in for the morning. When I got home today from work, I weighed 183.4. So definitely doing good. Tomorrow I'm hoping for about a 184 weigh-in, 184 something. I want to get below 185. I've been talking on Reddit to my finance people, people that are helping me with my finances and stuff. So I think I might do full time. I know for the longest time, not the longest time, but for a week, maybe I was saying I was gonna do part time. I'm still up in the air about that because if I do part time, it's gonna take me longer to get to my goal. But if I do full time, it'll be much shorter. Like you need a certain amount of money to retire with. Um, if you withdraw 4%, 4% is like the, what you want to withdraw. But 
by uh, by pulling out four percent, um, what'll happen is that you'll have enough money forever. You'll never run out of money because again, you earn interest from your investment. So as long as you don't take out four percent, anything more than four percent, whatever money you have in investments, you can live off of that money. So um, if you have Let's do an easy one, for example. If you have 100 grand, if you have 100 grand saved up in investments, you could take 4% out of that 100 grand and that would give you $4,000 and you could take $4,000 out every single year until the day you died. It would just still maintain at that 100 grand. You might even, you'll probably gain a little bit too along the way, but uh, that's the thing. So if you want, uh, if you want 500 grand, that would be 20 grand a year. So if you get 500 grand, 4%, that's 20 grand. If you get a million, that's 40,000. Now you guys are probably thinking, well, that's a ton of money. Uh, it is a ton of money, but the, the thing is, it all is determined by how many years you have the investment locked down for and how much you're contributing each year. So for example, if you have, if you have, let's say like 250 grand, and you don't put any money into that investment for 20, I think 20 or 25 years, let's say 20. After 20 years, the 250 grand will be about $1.2 million just from interest. So it's pretty freaking crazy how, uh, how much interest really plays. And, um, Investments are just definitely the way to go. I used to be like against investments just because I was paying off my mortgage at the time. So I, I needed the cash. But uh, now that the mortgage will be paid off next year, all my money except for I'll probably save. You want a little cushion in your checkings account just in case something happens. But uh, you don't want to be keeping a lot of money in that uh, in your checking or savings account because over time, like let's say you left 300 grand in your savings account. You got that cash, 300 grand, you're leaving it in your bank account. Over 25 years, um, you will have lost 50% of that money just because of inflation. So it's not good if you have a lot of money to keep it in, the, in your bank account, it's good to invest it, then each year it'll keep compounding and the return will uh, make up for the inflation. So you always have money. So that's just a quick little tip. <clears throat> oh yeah. And again, hopefully you guys don't mind me talking about this stuff. I mean, we could talk about pelvic floor, but uh, in my opinion, it would get pretty boring. Uh, to talk about pelvic floor all the time. It's really not that hard to work your pelvic floor muscles. All you gotta do is feel the muscle being worked and then do these do certain exercises that build that muscle up, do it, the workouts that we're doing and uh, you will get results, it's pretty sweet. That's why I'm always super chill and relaxed in my videos. That's why I'll talk about stuff that's on my mind, stuff that I find interesting, stuff that I've done, did for the day, whatever. Um, and that's what makes the videos go by for me and that's the funnest for me. I'm the one making all the videos, so it's gotta be fun for me. If it's not fun, then it would really suck to make videos. And right now, I have a blast making these videos because basically, I get ripped too by doing it because I'm doing the workouts myself. So I'm getting a good workout in too. I'm actually probably gonna cancel my gym membership this month just because for the last, I think six months, they've been taking out 30 bucks a month. It's only 30 bucks a month um, for my gym membership, but um, I don't use it anymore because I make these videos. So I'm gonna cancel it, and then that'll save me $30 a month, which doesn't seem like a lot, but in a year, that's $360, it's quite a bit. Um, so yeah, that was the workout. I love doing leg raise holds. I've been having some issues with my groin, like right in my, like my thigh area. And, um, it actually kind of hurt to do these today, but we got them in. 
Anyways, end of video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Please like the video, share it. Please follow me on Instagram, Dillenberg999. Thanks.